Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about what is class in Kotlin and how to create a class in Kotlin programming language. First of all, what is a class? Class is a blueprint for creating your object. It's like a template to create your object. So we can create class using class keyword in Kotlin. If you don't have any body, then we can avoid these braces. I've created a class called person and there are two fields I created name and the age and name is of type string and age is of type integer and I've already assigned the values to these variables. In the main method, I'm going to create an object. So val, person and person. And I don't use new keyword because you don't have to use new keyword like in Java. Then once I create the object using this template, I'm able to access the variables, for example, age and name, and I'm able to print it in the console. So this is how we can create object using the class. So class is like a template. So now I'm going to access the name variable from the person object and then reassign to Peter and then print it again. So now I'm able to reassign because, because the name variable is a var. That's why we are able to reassign. That means it's a mutable object. Now the moment I change this var to val, you can see there is an error and it says val cannot be reassigned. One more point I would like to share. If you look at this object and click dot, you can see e equals ash code two string method. How these three methods are created? Who is creating it? Because I don't see the person is not extending from any class. Then how are we getting these three methods? Ash code equals and then two string. We're getting these three methods because in Kotlin, each class will be extending from another class called any. Like in Java, each class will be extending from object. In Kotlin, it is any. I can show you that. So this is the class it is by default it is inheriting we can go inside this class and see and it says the root of kotlin class hierarchy every kotlin class has any as a super class and it has method equals ash code and to string so this is how we are able to see these three methods i have given basic information about a class so please try out hope this video is useful thank you